Once upon a time, King Dashrath, along with his wife Kekai and other kings, went to help Indra in a battle against the demon king Timi Dwaja. Dashrath fought a great battle there. King Dashrath was injured, but Kekai saved his life by taking him away from the battlefield. The king was so pleased that he granted her two boons, which she kept for future use. King Dashrath agreed to it. Kekai, under the bad influence of Mantra, demanded the king to fulfill her two boons. Kekai made the decision to have Lord Ram exiled for 14 years and Bharat be crowned as Ayodhya's king. So the question arises, why did she ask for 14 years of exile instead of 15 or 13? Let us explain why this happened. Kekai knew that the people of Ayodhya loved Lord Ram, the firstborn of Dashrath. She knew that even if Bharat was made king, nobody would accept him as king until Lord Ram returned to Ayodhya. This is why she asked Dashrath to exile Lord Ram for 14 years from Ayodhya so that her son Bharat could be the undisputed king. Why did she ask for 14 years of exile instead of 15 or 13? This is because of the law of the land. Property law is still in effect today. In the same way, they have laws that stated that if a king or prince is not present in the state for about 14 years, he directly loses his right to the kingdom. Back then, if you didn't contact someone for 14 years or more, it was considered a sign that you were dead, as living conditions during those times weren't safe at all. There were all sorts of dangers such as wild animals and demons. If someone didn't return after 14 years, they were considered dead and their children or relatives would perform their last rites. Kekai made things easy for Bharat. He could rule Ayodhya without any disruption from Lord Ram or the subjects of Ayodhya for the first 14 years. And after that, he would perform his last rites and his son would be in line to the throne as Bharat will be the undisputed king. However, Bharat didn't want this. He was shattered by his mother's request just the way everybody else in Ayodhya was. He never ascended the throne and cursed her that no father would ever name his daughter Kekai. Ramayana happened in Treta Yuga. During that time, there was a rule that if a king abandoned his kingdom for 14 years, he would lose all his hereditary rights in that empire. However, he could regain the kingdom by winning it back in a war, but he couldn't claim his right based on his royal blood anymore. This rule is mentioned by sage Valmiki in Ayodhya Kand of Valmiki Ramayan. Kekai was aware of this law. That's why she asked for 14 years for Lord Ram's exile. So even if Lord Ram returned, he would not have any claim over the empire. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you liked it, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already.